Hello guys, hello my people, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. So if you're new on this channel, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe honey because you will definitely love it here. And shout out to all amazing subscribers, you guys are the ish. I appreciate you guys so much for all the love and support. Alright, so, so today we're going to be talking about this tax on mobile money transactions in Cameroon. The government of Cameroon has imposed a 0.2% tax on mobile money operations in Cameroon. And this began on the 1st of January 2022. So a few months back, like October of 2021, the Cameroonian government has started putting these ideas in people's heads like a joke, you know. They were sending random messages on people's phones. We're going to start charging our mobile money transactions come 2022. We're going to start charging a certain fraction of you know a certain percentage on all mobile money withdrawals and deposits in 2022 so people thought it was a joke the government started warning us in october people were like huh would the fair work with the country don't want tax our money i beg it better be a joke or so that's how they used to shrugging their soldiers with like huh impossible not let that happen so we're just kind of like doubting it and and you know shrugging our shoulders and sweeping it under the bedrock little did we know that papa paul and his team they had plans for us huh 2022 has come now. 1st of January, the tax law went into effect. And now if you're sending money to somebody in Cameroon, it's a 0.2% charge for you, the sender, and a 0.2% charge for their receiver. So at the end of the day, it is not even a 0.2% charge the government is taking. It's 0.4. If I'm paying 0.2, my mommy in the village I'm sending money to is paying 0.2% on the same money I have been taxed on. That means we are at the end of the day spending 0.5% on that small money I'm sending to my mama in the village. And this is just all kinds of wrong so cameronian used today are decrying this tax like what kind of country is this that will not even give us jobs the small five francs will even beg what well, urgent 2k you know how babes will be begging urgent 2k from their guys imagine you begging urgent 2k for breakfast from your baby and he sends it to you bay manager and send you urgent 2k by the time bay send to urgent 2k government don't take like some 200 or whatever inside and then it hits your phone you run to your own mobile money kiosk to go cash the money and then you your own 0.2 percent is taken out of it at the end of it how much will you have left and to think that just last week i was doing a little giveaway on our facebook page on nana nation i was sending 5k to all these my friends who have been following the page and you know sharing our stuff and all that stuff imagine me sending small 5k they tax me you me that i'm sending the money they've taxed me then taxing that child again who's going to receive a small 5k that she thought she had won giveaway wonder so so today cameronian you will stick to twitter instagram and facebook to decry the tax they're standing up to the government and we are telling the government nope nope to this your mobile money tax like we're not going to pay that it's not going to hold like we don't first of all have jobs and you're here you are struggling to tax us so now i'm going to read a few reactions from cameronians on twitter and the first reaction we're going to read is from your favorite karma and she says this is a normal day in my country she shows a picture depicting the perfect environment of what the Cameroonian government is trying to do to its citizens today. These are the Cameroonian people struggling to cash fish or work no fair day Cameroonian pa de bulo. So we are struggling with our degrees, our first degrees and whatever our masters and whatever in our pockets. Work no day. We are out here struggling to make ends meet. This is the average Cameroonian you're struggling to catch fish for themselves. Every young girl I know in Cameroon right now has a home food delivery business. They cook equang, they cook rice and stew and they deliver it to people in their place of work just to make ends meet. Every young girl in Cameroon now is selling is doing beauty they're mixing body lotions and selling to people all of this is part of the hustle part of the struggle things are hard we are struggling to keep our heads above the waters the government is struggling to drown us so these are the Cameroonian people hustling young girls selling clothes selling food just to make ends meet the government is sitting at the round about laughing ha 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 at the weight one for carry food every small money that your hustle brings in i'm going to find a way to take a percentage from that i'm going to find a way to, to charge your hustle your small 2k that you're selling for your food delivery business I'm going to take a percentage of that. That's what the government is doing. And it's just horrible. You can't do that to your people. You won't give them jobs. You won't watch out for them. And when they go out to fish for themselves, you're just there waiting for you to carry everything they have in their net. It's horrible. The next reaction we're going to read is from Rebecca Enon Chong, and she says, Mobile money is just a mode de payment. Il n'y a pas de taxes, je paye par chèque. Il n'y a pas de taxes, je paye par cash. 
Il n'y a pas de taxe si j'ai payé par virement bancaire. C'est une taxe contre l'innovation. C'est une taxe contre les pauvres. So, Rebecca calls it as it is. She's telling the Cameroonian government that, look, what you guys are trying to do is charge the poor people. Because the rich people have their millions in their banks. They don't have to bother with mobile money accounts. But the most people who use mobile money are poor people. The regular Cameroonian youth, the average Cameroonian youth does not have millions to go and open a big bank over there at BSEC. But they surely have their 2,000 francs every to store in their momo. That's how they struggle to keep money in their mobile money accounts. They don't have money to go and open big accounts where they'll be paying banks, you know, charges at the end of every year. Every credit card swiping, you pay charges to your bank and all that. So the average Cameroonian youth does not have money like that. So mobile money was the savior for the poor masses. And mobile money is a measure of convenience. So this is a step of innovation. With globalization, you see other countries in the world, people send money from the comfort of their home. All I need to do is take my phone and send money to my family members back home. That's what we've been doing. It's a huge step in, in innovation that was supposed to make life easy. In 2022, we should be talking about measures of convenience. Life is so busy. These are some of the things we have with globalization. Like, life is so busy. Like, we're living in a fast-paced environment. So anything which makes your life convenient, whether it be sending money to your family members from the comfort of your home, whether you're in the bathroom or you just pick your phone and swipe, Tundu, money has gone to your mother in the village. Tundu, money has gone to your brother in Kiliwindi. So we're celebrating this success, but the government wants to pull us back 100 years back so by the government charging mobile money transactions people are going to shy away from sitting in the comfort of their home and sending money what does this mean now we have to go and start standing on long lines on express you know and express exchange and listening to those wicked sections and with their rudeness you know how they talk to us in mobile money and places they look at you oh madam photocopy the tasi any they'll be talking to you anyhow go and photocopy your id card you go photocopy id card on that hot song for dollar come and give them oh madam your name is not spared rightly oh madam they did not spare your name rightly. So all this stress will be fixed. We don't free from. Finally, they're pulling us again 100 years back. So Rebecca calls it like it is. She's telling the Cameroonian government today, hey, you guys are pulling us backward there. Eh? This is a step backward towards innovation. Something that was supposed to be a good thing, more more. You guys are trying to take it away from us and it's horrible. It's the poor people who will suffer. Rich people, thankfully, they can pay by check. They can pay by cash. They have their big fat checkbooks to write their checks and pay their children's school fees. But what about us, the regular Cameroonian citizens? What about us, um, you know, the average day-to-day Cameroonians? This is going to hurt us badly. So let's read the next reaction. Our next tweet is from Cletus BB and he says... Only in Cameroon will you see a government taxing poor and unemployed citizens while other countries are busy providing jobs. God have mercy. So a lot of Cameroonians feel like, why was I even born in this country, Papa God? Was Cameroon even necessary? Other governments are struggling to give their citizens jobs to keep their youth employed and stuff. Cameroon will really find way for squeeze the small 2000 that you have in your hands. It's horrible. Our next tweet is from Lungui and she says, Your salary is taxed. You keep a part of it in your mobile money account to solve immediate problems and that too gets taxed. The government's creativity is limiting to finding new ways to make life difficult to its citizens. Well, lie. I agree with you, Loom. Loom is saying that eh, Cameroon, we are working in Cameroon like a normal citizen. Your salary is taxed. Eh? That one is aside though. So they don't finish tax your money or your gross income. The small net income where they pay you, you say, okay, let me keep small and eh, 20k for my salary in my momo. I can use it to solve regular day-to-day problem. I'm a woman. If it's time for my month lease, okay, I have money in my hand to buy what I need. If it's time for me to send small 2K to my junior sister, eh, eh, I have that already, readily available to send to my sister. Small money where you keep on for your account until you're already tax salary. Government to the follow that one strong, strong for tax. I'm like, is this not madness? So when we send that Cameroon, I fear when our caught on a cafe, you guys are not creative. The only time the Cameroonian government is creative is when they are finding ways to make life more miserable for a citizen so that's what Lumi is saying let's read the next comment so our next tweet is from your favorite karma and she says this money way i want to send marimi it shows say i go let's go marami one give ye the money because charges plus tax don't already reach transport for komodwa lago marwa so they chop soya for road no <laughs> this is really funny so your favorite camera is saying that down for her to send money to her mama in marwa that will still be taxed and the, ta- the tax is equivalent to her transport of going to Marwa and coming back. Why would she waste her energy to send money through um, the phone again, through mobile money and incur all these taxes? Better she'll go and buy her ticket and travel her to Marwa and buy her 
soya during the journey and enjoy her food her free tourism i mean you live in cameroon traveling to Marwa, you must see about four or five states four or five regions in cameroon you pass through Douala and Hena, Litoga region that now you'll be a true cameroonian you pass through your own the Hena, central region if you go through south or whatever you pass through you must pass through about four regions to go to gara so i mean enjoy your free tourism you may as well enjoy your free soya enjoy the ride and go see your mama with all the love in your heart than to send money to momo that will still get taxed so that was a funny comment but it makes sense if this is what the government is trying to do to us now then we have to find ways to adjust and instead of sending the money and paying and paying expensive charges eh you may as well go and see mama let her cook the cases for you to enjoy that's the level at which we are right now i mean it's getting real so the next tweet is from one kind guy and he says just few days to the afcon tournament and n mobile money tax is on the trend list in cameroon the government should be ashamed i totally agree with you my brother he's saying that hey, we have just few days to the afcon tournament and we have just literally four days in between afcon is starting on the 7th of january and today's the 2nd of january we are still talking about n mobile money tax isn't this crazy first of all this is the time when the government should be hyping up cameroon hyping up cameroonian infrastructure how we are ready for the afcon showing cameroonian hotels how we are ready for guests coming in from all across the african countries guests coming in from fifa from all across the globe basically this is the time when cameroon should be hyping our infrastructure hyping our hotel structures hyping our restaurants hyping our hospitality and just to show how ready the country is to welcome all of africa to us to welcome all these delegates from all across africa you know but here we are talking about end phone tax so if i'm an international delegate from ghana for example i don't want to go to no country where the people are talking about end phone tax how do i know whether in front of my poor hotel room that i'll come and pay cameroonians will not be protesting how do i know whether cameroonians will not hold placard and stand in front of my car and be shouting end phone tax every day so me as a tourist me as somebody who wants to come and attend afcon in a country if i see all these things going on i'll be like hey these people have small in-house fight you know how do i know i'm going to be safe in that country i may not go i may cancel my trip just because of things like this so you guys want to be careful make sure you nip this in the butt before it goes any far if the Cameroonian government is listening this is not the time nor the place you guys should just stop this while i are trying to bring before it even begins so Cameroonian youth are on the internet to listen and phone tax and phone tax now is just the wrong time i don't know what these guys were thinking stadium they fed they oh we've not completed some of our stadiums and people are coming in, in a couple of days some of the delegates have already flown into the country they're already lodging in their hotel rooms and then they get to hear all this this is just unacceptable so Cameroonians continue to react on the internet i'm going to put some reactions here so we can read for ourselves this is the level at which we are today Cameroon is supposed to be hosting AFCON and unfortunately what is trending out of Cameroon right now on Twitter is N mobile money tax so we should find a way to solve that we have our youth who are suffering everybody is crying even the call box women are crying call box women are out here saying imagine no my small call box that's putting food on my table imagine if I want to transfer 1 million francs CFA so I have to be ready to pay 2,000 francs CFA for fees on top of that 2,000 francs CFA my profit for sending 2 million in a mobile money transaction is 2 2100 francs cfa so me as a small call box woman if i send two million i make 2100 francs if that's my profit but now the government wants to tax me 0 0.2 percent that's 2000 francs cfa so where is my own profit now for my small 2100 profit if i give the government 2000 so my profit for that transaction now will be 100 francs cfa how will i pay bills in my own home how will i put food on the table in my own home this call box is my everything now is the call box i'm using to pay fees for my children is the call box i'm using to sustain my home maybe as a single mom is a call box i'm using to fend for my siblings maybe as a big sister who has eight nine ten little siblings looking up to you so this this tax the government is trying to impose here rich people will not feel it now they don't feel the itch it's for us that are down here down below the food chain we are the ones who are going to feel it and eh? so the government should do something to end this tax that's the reason why we're making this video to join my voice i on another nation i join my voice to all cameroonian youth today to say end mobile money tax it is unacceptable thank you guys so much for watching this video i remain your girl onana if it is your first time on this channel a very special welcome to you please go ahead and subscribe this video um subscribe to this channel honey because you would definitely love it here with our diverse content on this channel we talk about entertainment we talk about happenings in cameroon and africa and the world at large we also do african recipes from time to time i think you'll love it here subscribe like and share the video i will see you guys in my next video goodbye <laughs>